get these men! Get him out now! Come in, take him down! Hello, welcome back to another episode. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. The terminal list directed by Antoine Fuqua, Frederick E. Otoy, Sylvain White, M.J. Bassett, Tucker Gates, and Ellen Curras, is based on Jack Carr's novel of the same name. In addition, Tolu Awosika, David D. Giglio, Olumide Odabumi, Anna Sikandri, Max Adams, Lisa Long, John Lopez, Brooke Roberts, and Daniel Shadda contributed to its composition. It centers on Commander James Reese, who is suffering from memory loss as a result of an ambush in Syria that cost him his entire unit. His superiors, Commander Cox, Admiral Pillar, and JAG Captain Howard, have persuaded him that he has PTSD. However, it turns out that an experimental program that the Navy and Steve Horn ran on him and his crew resulted in a tumor in his skull. Additionally, the Navy and Horn staged an extensive cover-up to prevent anybody from learning about this immoral activity, which included the killing of his whole staff. Reese begins his goal to assassinate everyone who has mistreated him and was responsible for the deaths of his wife Lauren and daughter Lucy, with the assistance of journalists Katie Borneck and pals Ben, Liz, and Marco. The Terminal List Season 1 ending explained, Three weeks later, Katie fills out an Oberon Analytics dossier while reviewing the most current revisions to her watershed reporting. Reese sends her a note acknowledging that her tale has had some positive effects and that the Pentagon is making significant changes to support the troops' mental health. She responds that Oberon Analytics runs through a bank in Peru when he questions her about it. He expresses gratitude for the information and requests that she no longer look for him. Katie informs him that won't happen. She notices that the quest for Reese is still going on as she leaves her hotel room. When Ben is swimming and sailing on his very own yacht in Moncora, Peru, the story of the terminal list then changes to that location. Reese appears as he moves toward the interior of the boat. Ben doesn't look relieved or delighted, he seems remorseful and depressed. Oberon Analytics and Reese use the first two terms together. Everyone's nightmares came true because Ben was the one who led the Alpha Platoon to its doom for $20 million. Ben claims he attempted to give Reese and his guys an honorable death despite knowing they had cancer. But he claims that he wasn't responsible for the killings of Lauren and Lucy. He helped Reese with his quest because of this. Reese, who is inconsolably distraught, claims to know that Ben isn't responsible for the murders of Lauren and Lucy. Reese is given the all clear by Ben, who also presses him to finish the list. Ben is fatally shot by Reese after pulling the trigger slowly. Reese's dreams keep replaying for him. This time, he tells Lucy the truth when she questions him about dying and what would happen if he doesn't come back after one of his travels. No, no, sweetheart, I, I could never love anybody the way that I love you. He advises her to adjust to the fact that he passed away while carrying out his duties with some of the greatest men in the world, even though he is no longer with her. He assures him that Lauren will take care of her while she takes care of Lauren, and vice versa. And because he will always be there in the hearts of his loved ones, he will keep an eye on them. Ben's name has been removed by Reese from the list, as can be seen. He gives his daughter's painting one more glance before kissing it and letting it fall into the water. Then it becomes clear that he is planning a path to the Mozambican region of Nyasa. More unfinished business? The list, however, is created. So what will he discover in Mozambique? Maybe he'll simply hide out there, or maybe the greatest brain tumor surgeons in the world are located there and will be able to help him recover. In any case, the Terminal List episodes are so excellent that I don't believe Season 2 is necessary. It's ideal. It tells a thorough tale. I do hope Pratt, Fuqua, and Prime Video have a good reason for wanting to prolong James Reese's adventure, though. Thanks for watching, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe.